Hey everyone, it's Meg Loves Games here, and this is my first video on my channel. I've decided this is going to be a speed build for The Sims 3. I built this today. Um, it's probably the best house I've built. I'm not particularly pleased with all of it, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, my channel is pretty much up and running now. I am going to be doing some Let's Plays, some building stuff on things like Minecraft, as well as Sims 2 and Sims 3. Um, but, um, I just need to work out the screen capture software first. If any of you know how to do it and can help me out, then I'd really, really be thankful. Anyway, this house is built on a diagonal foundation. I was really inspired by the Sims Supply video, the foundation challenge that Flabbleaky did. Um, I've never really tried out diagonal foundations or the diagonal houses in general and I don't really mess around with diagonal placement too much in houses I'm a bit of a I'm still stuck in sims 2 in terms of like placement of things and building so um yeah but I thought I'd try it out on this one uh that wall you see there that really tall one that just kind of sticks out at the side that is the carport and you'll see soon there's going to be a roof over that and that was probably my favorite part of the house I tried to build that on sims 2 and because of like foundation and stuff it didn't quite work so I thought I'd try it out on sims 3 because I knew it would be easier to do it on here and it did work and look great um now I'm going in to put the car slot in it was really annoying to put in because the car kept clipping the side of the wall where the the sticking out bit is I couldn't describe that in real architectural terms because I'm not an architect I am 17 um <laughs> Yeah, that bit kept clipping into the car, so it looked a bit stupid. So I ended up using the alt key to place it rather than on the grid, and then it kind of fit in. Now I'm working on the balconies. Um, you'll see the fence. I use this fence way too much in my houses because I'm a bit of a modern builder, and it's just the kind of fence that works the best. You'll see me here adding in columns and stuff. I changed the placement of this column. I just kind of wanted it here just to get the wraparound balcony kind of working. Then I move it to fit with the fence posts. And that's the way I kind of like it. Anyway, I'm really sorry, but I've got like a bit of a sore throat. I've had it for a couple of weeks now and it is really hard to talk for more than two minutes. So I keep stopping and starting. And if you hear that, it's my sister's watching the tennis. Um, obviously it's the Olympics in my home country, so that's pretty cool. Um, right now, Federer's playing. Um, I'd better get back to the house now. Uh, this is my attempt at landscaping, which as you see right now, is awful. That's why I got rid of it. Um, I decided then that I was going to work on just like a s simple colour scheme of like green for like regular plants, obviously, and red and yellow. I just thought that limiting it to two colours other than the green would just kind of simplify it a bit, keep it clean. And I think the second attempt at my landscaping worked a little bit better. I'm still not great at landscaping. I've really only tried it a couple of times, which is where my houses suck. But yeah, now that I'm starting to use it a bit more, I'm getting a little bit better. And this is also a house where I've tried to rain painting. I've learnt quite a few things from the Sims of Light and my houses were absolute tosh beforehand. And now then getting a little better. So I thank the Sims Supply for that. Um you can see me now adding in the stone for the foundation. I wanted it kind of dark because the rest of the house is gonna be quite white. So I thought that making that dark would add a bit of contrast, add a bit of depth to the place that probably isn't the right word to explain it you can see we cover several bits up most of this gets covered by windows the darker bits so the little flashes of dark that you see don't look as overpowering as they do right now which is pretty good right now i'm just creating that little bit i just wanted it for a bit of difference and i'm gonna have to pause again right now to cough basically Sorry about this guy's first video, sore throat. It's really not a great start, is it? Anyway, I'm going to stop right now, cough, and I'll be back in a sec. Back again, sorry about that. Obviously, sore throat isn't great when you're talking for 14 minutes. Um, 
I know I said back in a minute, it's like nothing for you, but it was for me. Anyway, I'm just adding in windows now. Um, I had a little trouble placing windows because obviously with the diagonal, sometimes it wouldn't quite work because I had quite acute angles in the house. And obviously with that bit of roof sticking out there, you couldn't stick windows on the upper level. I ended up finding some really quite um, fitting smaller windows, which I could never find before that I stick on the upper floor, which actually looked quite good in the end. I'm adding like the windows and stuff to the balcony right now. I really like the way the balcony is shaped. Um, not so much the bit that sticks out, but the rest of it kind of curves around. It reminds me of a wraparound veranda. Um, as you can see there, those those windows, they do look kind of contemporary and modern, but they're not huge, which I kind of liked. And here goes my attempt at terrain painting. I realise it's stupid to begin with. Uh, then I add some dirt around the path. I really wanted to use that tile there because it kind of tied into the rest of the decking and stuff. And then I decided not to use it in the end because it looked a bit weird. Then my attempt at dry grass started. I thought perhaps wearing out the grass a bit in those areas would look better. Didn't. Um, then we get the mowed grass in, which made it look more like a house. And then I went around the foundation, added a bit of dirt, give it a bit of depth. That actually turned out pretty good, which was pretty much the only part of it that actually did turn out as good as I'd hoped. Um, as well as painting under the flower beds, which looked all right too. Now, it actually does make a real difference, and I never knew it before. Um, so, it's pretty cool. I added back the dirt to the pathway don't know why I couldn't find the word for that um and then I added the driveway in and there was this really annoying triangle of grass that looked a little bit stupid so I thought I'd add an extra flower bed in this isn't as good as the flowers and stuff around the other side but um it covers up something that looked a little bit worse which was the triangle of grass I really didn't like that triangle I just don't didn't think it looked quite great now it's pretty much the same sort of flowers as I used on the other side. There's a couple more taller bushes at the back, but it's pretty much the same. I wanted to add a couple of trees here by the carport. I started off with a massive palm tree, didn't look right. And I added these kind of like smaller ones that look a bit like poplar trees, but they're called cypress trees on here. Oh well, I just scratched the microphone, I'm really sorry. I added a few more flowers in here, just kind of bring it all round a bit. I didn't want too much, started to get a bit overpowering right here um yeah it's not great then i started adding in the stone i preferred like having a stone path rather than a dirt path to this house because it looked like it needed more of a pathway than just a bit where people walked and i wanted something around here that the back garden could kind of walk into i started off with the fountain looked too out of place so i started adding in a pond looked stupid tried again this one is a better shape i not completely impressed by it i not i'm not particularly fond of it i think it looked a bit funny at the top and what i do around it mm, it's so so but it was my first attempt at really landscaping properly i did a lot of bamboo there a little too much bamboo i'm gonna have to admit um, I wanted that bamboo to kind of tie in with the bit at the side. Um, it didn't work as well as I'd hoped, but I think it still kind of looks fine. Um, I added some water lilies to the pond because the pond looked a bit flat, nothingness. So I added them in. Um, now I'm adding a couple more trees in. I really did go all out with this landscaping and stuff. Now I'm inside working on the layout. Um, there's basically only two rooms in the downstairs. I thought that I'd be able to fit in a few more. Well, like a separate living area. But I didn't. And the upstairs layout is terrible, in my opinion. I hate it because the stairs, being a spiral staircase, they look really quite weird when you... On the upper floor, it just looks a bit funny, in my opinion. But I managed to fit in two nice bedrooms, two bathrooms. So I was pretty happy with the the actual space I managed to work out in there. 
the bathroom on the left hand side is huge i have to say i thought because it was diagonal i'd need more space to fit it all in i didn't in the end it just the way it turned out i still liked it i just um i think it was a little big now i am working on the kitchen i wanted a nice fresh white kind of wood in there and placing counters on diagonals is hell just gonna put that out there uh, i decided to to separate the appliances from the counters because otherwise the, the, the space wouldn't look quite right so i did that and it looked better than separating counters so and i found a straight bit where i could do islands which that worked out quite nice and it created like a breakfast bar kind of feel that wall looked so there so i decided i'd add a painting in they really need a better choice of paintings in sims 3 i have to say there's like hardly any huge ones i mean sims 2 was great for that kind of thing. Plus I had loads of great colours of that. Probably should find some of them online. I wanted to add flowers, just kind of get the feel going in this kitchen. I like the little lemonade thing. I meddled around with it for a little while. Couldn't get it to rotate, so I just had to leave it as it was. Here I am just adding in the dining room. I really like this set. It came with um outdoor living stuff um i really liked it because the kitchen area was like this dark brick that fitted with the outdoor stone that i had going on the darker bits with the foundation and stuff and then it just kind of all tied together and looked kind of pretty um now i'm working on lighting uh, i have to say i had to use the by debug lamps because there really isn't enough light given off by the the regular lamps in sims 3 i just find they're not good enough here i'm just sticking in couches and stuff for the living room i really like those couches they're from ambitions they're probably my favorite couches i wanted to add a little study area in here too i thought that that was a perfect little space for it nice little nook and that bookcase covered up that horrible angle i really hated that angle i completely put a wall over it upstairs um probably should have done it down here but the bookcase covers it up pretty well uh nice little table there for the phone upstairs now i'm working on the bathroom i really like the wallpaper that, and the tile on the floor that i got i like the color scheme especially because i see those tiles around and they don't look good in the blue i think they're too potent in the blue but when i found the orange and stuff it looked great i'm back downstairs now lighting because i completely forgot to do it the first time I'm a bit of a stupid person like that. Anyway, back upstairs. Um, that shower didn't want to fit in quite right to begin with. You could see why I had to make this room kind of big. It was really awkward trying to place things like bathtubs in because of the diagonal angles. Um, I had a couple towels, just a bit of finishing touches. Probably should have added a plant somewhere. Didn't, completely forgot. And now I go into the guest bedroom, the spare bedroom or just the second bedroom, whichever you want to call it. Um, I like this one better than the um, master bedroom, actually, I think. I think I decorated this one really well. It is slightly bigger than the master bedroom, but I call the other one the master bedroom simply because it's got the ensuite and the balcony leading off from it. So it's probably where the head of the family would live in terms of bedrooms. Um, that modern bed is from High End Love Stuff, or whatever it's called over here. High tech, design and high tech stuff. They created a really stupid name for that. Here I'm working on the balcony. Really hated my job on the balcony. Um, almost done in this house, actually. Just got to add the bench downstairs and that'll be done.